Give me a good clean fight. Remember guys, I'm fair but I'm firm. Talk to both. Pacquiao is showing a lot more upper body movement than most southpaws that come straight in a lot. But right now he seems to be having a problem with getting his rhythm together. And at this stage here, he looks to be a little bit wide with everything he does. His body position, everything, is leaving himself exposed when he throws his punches. And he's getting picked off down yeah. the middle by Marquez as he did on a quick left hook there. Yeah. And he fires the straight left hand, and there's the punting foul. And I'm looking at I don't know if, it was, if Marquez is really that hurt or whether he just got caught with a straight shot right down the pipe. Marquez does not appear to be hurt or dazed. No, but he's still standing in the same position to get hit with a straight punch. And he got hit with another one and he's another hurt one. Now. He's and hurt now. He's, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's not moving his head at all. He's just standing in one position. This is why we use the word sensation. We are if he doesn't two move his head, he's going down again. And Juan Manuel Marquez has been down twice. And he's off balance again. Lands a good straight left. That momentarily backs Pacquiao off. But he's, he's going straight back. Third knockdown of the first round. And he caught Marquez going down. And I'm not sure Juan Manuel will be able to get up. Cortez is going to let the fight continue. 30 seconds left in the first. Marquez has been down three times already. And Pacquiao lands another huge left. And another big one. But he's not getting away from the straight left at all. There's no head movement at all. This is not the fight that Juan Manuel Marquez would have wanted. Marquez is sure. showing tremendous heart and determination to survive this round. And even if he gets past this round, I don't think it's going to change the outcome because his head is not moving. Manny Pacquiao is a storm. Juan Manuel Marquez hasn't ever seen anything like that. Who has? says I'm fine. Marquez's right hand is finding the target over and over and over. He won the round big and he's got Pacquiao bleeding from his eye. Her right hand stuns Pacquiao. Pacquiao once again wants to fight fire with fire. Marquez pops him with the right again Those and he wants to land the left. And it could be the comeback of a lifetime for Juan Manuel Marquez. Do not let this guy take control of the fight, you hear me? Pacquiao landing two one-twos. Manages to dodge Marquez's right hand, lands another left. Big grin on Pacquiao's face as suddenly he begins experiencing some of his better success. Marquez gets him with a left and knocks him back into the ropes. Pacquiao comes forward again. Blood trickling from Marquez's nose again. Hard right hand by Marquez. They trade shots at the center of the ring. Manny throws his hands up as if to say, I love it, we're fighting. Oh, what a big right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao took it pretty well. Win or lose, he's made his mark among Mexican fans for showing the courage and the fortitude to put himself back into this fight. I feel like giving him both the standing place. And I believe he won this round. Hey, it, it's, if you, you're gonna win this, it's an incredible victory. It didn't look like you were gonna win, but you got it now. Both fighters believe they can win this fight if they win this round. Nothing in the first five months of 2004 can compare with this. It's fire down the stretch. Pacquiao's left, Marquez is right. Last chance to make a statement as the bell gets ready to ring. We have a majority draw. Burt Clemens, who had the final score 113 to 113, scored the first round 10 7 for Pacquiao, not 10 6. How can you score 10-7 in a three knockdown round? 